la la Hello peeps and welcome back to Good Company. Uh, welcome back to a brand new level. Uh, we continue with the campaign after receiving three trophies in merry-go-round and we are moving on to Bet on Bots. Good County, home of the bots, has a nice ring to it, right? Mechanical messengers are big business these days. How about offering the latest models in delivery drones and courier bots? The people need you to deliver. Uh, so let's get started, shall we? Let's jump in and find out uh oh look at this place let's pause this uh because i always like to have a, a good old butchers uh of the map uh, oh look we've got tram lines and that we're moving uh, more into the city aren't we we definitely are uh look there's other businesses around we've seen some uh, trucks and that can we buy i don't think we can buy this i think uh this is just other businesses we're in like an industrial park right fantastic oh look there's a bookshop across the road we've got a, a petrol station here some cars driving by and uh, uh, car parks and whatnot. Uh, so we're going to be able to buy this building here. This is uh, a building that's definitely up for grabs. We currently seem to have two buildings. This one has both an incoming and an outgoing, which is fantastic. We seem to have oh a shelf here with a bunch of conveyor belt parts. Loving that. That's fantastic. And we've got another building that we own over here, and we can we can do some conveyor belt business. Look uh, through here, I guess. Uh, lovely. Uh, so, did you read the news? There was an accident with a rival company's courier bot last week. Blimey. Uh, after delivering a package, the bot abducted the client's cat. Oh dear. Uh, the press are sniffing around for similar stories. We must make sure none of our bots malfunction. Uh, it would be a PR disaster. Uh, let's install safety fuse mark ones into all of our new bots. Uh, that should advert disaster. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and, and that is it, everybody. And uh, <laughs> uh, better get on with it then. So let's see. Um, we need to be designing some things. So let's uh, pop down this here. Okay, create new courier bot. Oh, look at these. We've got metal, plastic, and wooden chassis. Interesting. Um, technically, this wooden one is uh, giving us uh, the most space. Uh, let's have a look. We've got metal so the wooden chassis the plastic's nice because it's all lumped together like this and then the metal um a little bit odd but that would probably be okay and we can see here so this metal one is going to require pretty easy things it's pretty easy to make this metal chassis um however look these plastic sundries uh, how do we make those plastic parts and metal it's not too difficult to make those but it is an extra step mind you we've got extra steps here haven't we in fact two i suppose technically Mm, okay, and then this one needs a metal frame, which would come from the rods and the metal sundries. Do you know what? I think we might go with this metal case. Uh, I'm comfortable with rods and screws, <laughs> so that's what we're going to go with. Okay, um, so let's see here. So there's a speed. Determines how fast the product... Uh, so we need some locomotion. Ooh, um, let's see. Um, what would... What gives us... This gives us quite a lot of speed. Um, mobility. Oh. This gives... Actually, the small stepper motor gives us more than the DC motor, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that says... See, that says speed, 0.5, but mobility is 0.2. And I suppose that's, that's the important one, isn't it? So if we stick in uh, one of these... Not giving us much, is it? Okay. So, hold on. So is it this one? Oh, it is that one. Oh, we definitely are. I was thinking, surely this is smaller. It is. Okay, good. That's that one taken care of. Storage space. Um, Compartments. Oh, no, really? No, not compartments. One. We've managed to get away with one. I'm really pleased about that. Uh, battery life. Um, I like that it's giving us the stack that we have just researched. Pretty pleased about that. Um, otherwise, there was a chance I might have got a little bit narky. Uh, so there we are. Oh, wow. Masses of power. It's sort of just through the roof power. It doesn't actually need that much power. Uh, if we wanted to go with a double, what would we be looking at? I mean, that's more than enough as well, isn't it? Just the double. 
Might go with that. Might go with that. But we have to... Uh, it has to have these fuses in, she said, right? Um, yeah. Install... Uh, let's install safety fuses mark ones. Yeah. So, um, here we are. Let's sling a fuse in there. Alright. So, it doesn't do anything to mark it expectations. Um, but, of course, you know, it, it, it is a better way to be. Um... Excellent. Okay, and look at look at the market appeal. It's uh, it's crazy. So our courier bots um, are generally um, called uh, Ralph. Um, so we're going to stick with that. This will be uh, the Peepco Ralph, uh, the robotic assistant labor facilitator. Um, I think we'll stick uh, with that um, now. Uh, and I, I also quite like this design as well. Um, I'd like to keep this design. It works for us. It works for me anyway. Um, yeah, it does. Right, so let's finish this design. Brilliant. A new Ralph uh, to get our, our teeth into. Um, really rather pleased about that. Um, yeah. Now we have to try and figure out all the, all the junk uh, that is required. Um, and I'm thinking that... Uh, Mind you, look at this. We could have an, stuff coming in and being uh, shipped out here uh, to this building. Uh, it might have to come like this. I don't know if it'll go through there, so it might have to come like this. And then we could do some of the basic components uh, with raw materials out there, couldn't we? Or do we do those in here and uh, get to the more advanced stuff in here and then and then ship them out? Yeah, probably, probably like that, right? It's probably the way that it's going to need to be. Uh, okay. That we can do. That we can do. Um, a cat has now come to my desk. Uh, hello, Coral. She's rubbing herself up against the mic. Uh, and she wants my attention. She's making it very difficult to use the keyboard and mouse. Uh, uh, that's it. There she goes. There she goes. Right. <laughs> uh, she has now wandered off. Right. Um yeah so what is involved we're going to have a look uh, at this uh, I just find this one of the easiest ways to do it quite honestly so we know that we're going to want um, yeah uh, all right the cat's back metal uh, over here let's get a, a batch of that in um, like coral you're probably uh, making all sorts of noises on the mic uh, so we are going to need, uh, that's going to need a bunch of metal, um, yeah, we've got quite a lot of metal to come in, so, do you know what, we might actually order, like, three bunches of metal, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw some plastic there and some glass, uh, what else have we got here, let's, let's, let's see, um, uh, metal... Uh, ke chemicals. We're going to need chemicals, um, plastic and glass. Okay, so we, we we do need some some chemicals here. Okay, right. Uh, so that's that's a good start. That's that's a good start. Um, cat, what 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 are you doing? She's being very very affectionate. She's rubbing herself all over me. I think she wants feeding. Uh, I'm in the middle of recording an episode right about now, Coral. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, an added challenge. She's now um, trying to play with the, the, the cord off, uh, off my mouse. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. You know what? I might just go and deal with this cat and then I'll be right back. Well, I am pleased that I said that I would go and sort the cat out because shortly after she shut down my recording equipment. <laughs> so... So, yeah, right, anyway, she's dealt with. <laughs> she is eating and very happy. Now, uh, uh, where where was I? I'm trying to work out uh, what, what we're going to need uh, for the very basics of these, aren't we? We're going to need uh, mechan uh, mechanical parts. So let's, let's get some of these basic workstations down. Right, okay, so these, okay, um... Yeah, I think anything that's got these green backgrounds, these components, is probably worth making uh, over here, isn't it? Um, is what I'm thinking. And then we can uh, make the chassis towards the end of that process, maybe. And then, uh, and then making them into these purple modules can be done in the other building. I think that's the sort of thing we're going to do. Um, it tends to, to work for us. 
you know tends to work for us uh, but it's a question of uh, where do we blinking well start uh well good question uh maybe we should start with some rods maybe we should start with some rods uh because uh and how much rods are we? we're going to need quite a few rods that only four that only six um oh look at this the fuse is a really easy build really easy build um the fuses might even be okay to be built uh right here even it might be look at those the fuses just require raw materials right there and then they uh knock them out that's that's great well that's 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 super duper easy right there and what are we thinking uh is that we're probably going to be uh doing uh, assemblies and stuff like that over here uh okay right i, I always struggle to get started so we definitely need to get screws and whatnot out don't we we definitely need to be uh, getting those out um but where to start the production line uh i think i think here will be fine uh i'm actually going to and if we had a, a line let's look at this this there's a line that goes right down the middle look um no we do you know what we might we might do something more like this pop that there and make this rods look at that make that rods and um i want to leave space for growth if i can although that's probably not going to work so we'll just we'll forget about growth <laughs> it's the worst decision i have ever made uh they can share a shelf they can share a shelf they can it's gonna go here um so let's see we are going to need metal to be moved to this shelf then they're going to want to pick up the metal to make their rods and stick their rods back we might even up uh, the metal let's just get rid of that uh, make this a bit neater up the metal uh, then they can put the rods on there and uh, let's up uh, those rods and then they can pick up these rods and they can stick their screws on there and we're going to up uh, the screws okay good right <sighs> all right there's a start right there now we've got gears uh which uh gears just take metal and nothing else they just take metal and nothing else very similarly actually uh to these Ooh. uh in that case what we might do is move these guys down a smidge in fact, we might need to move them down a little bit more, uh, like this. And then uh, we shall get another one of these here. So you, we would like. Oh, wrong, wrong bench. What, 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 what bench is it? Is it just this basic one that makes gears? I think it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's hope we get some better tables uh, moving forward. That'd be great. Um, gears. There we go and let's uh stick that on the end great so um <laughs> we're going to need somebody to deliver metal to here as well this is why i've got quite a lot of metal being delivered um so that the gears can come out of here okay um and you know what again let's let's uh let's give them plenty of metal um and plenty of room to stick their gears out there we go right right okay and then the mechanical parts are made from gears and screws right which is just great so if we uh move um this guy um do you know what we might move 
this guy over to uh, here. We'll probably, we might get into a situation where we're going to need more. So, you know, we'll see. But we will then ask our logistics, which we have not yet built, to take these gears from here and these screws from here. Uh, so that he can then take these off the shelf and then he can pop them uh, back on. Right? Great. All right. Now, so what other components uh, do we have in... It? Oh my goodness, that was a, a terrifying sound. What, what, what? Please note that outgoing connections of the small shelf rack uh, don't get served. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. Just settle down, right. Okay. Uh, mechanical parts, right, that's all, that, that all seems that fine for the moment, uh, that all seems fine. Um, so we've got plastic parts and stuff to make. We are going to need uh, some plastic, plastic parts. Definitely need plastic parts. Um, and I, I think again they might be good to build um, over here now that we've got conveyor belts and whatnot. Why, why not, eh? So what's involved in building plastic parts? Um, so you can build plastic parts. Uh, seek uh, plastic parts. There we go. And what we will do is give you a similar sort of shelf. And we've got plastic being shipped in. So we're going to ask for them to bring the plastic into here so that they can make their plastic parts and, and, and pop those out there. Okay, great. Um, really pleased about that. Right. Alrighty. So we've got some of the, uh, the basics in place. Uh, some of them. Some of them. Indeed we do. Um, so now, I'm... It's possible that we can get some people to just walk items uh, through here um, it's not that far is it so isn't there quite a lot involved with the motor so let's let's see I've got a feeling the motor is fairly involved if I recall um, the best way to make this motor is going to be on here so let's let's find out what's involved because uh, we want the medium one here and for that we're going to need a small um, and actually, we're already producing everything the small needs. So um, let's not muck around. We are going. Actually, let's let's do this differently. I'm going to. We we are going to put them this way, like that. No, like this. There we go. And uh, let's move this one out of the way a moment. Let's stick it here. Okay. So, uh, the small DC motor here and here. I want both of these guys to be making it. Um, fab. Absolutely fab. Um, now, they need to be getting stuff from a shelf. Um, maybe they can both uh, use this shelf here like this or maybe we could put one of these corner ones on like this uh, the only problem with that actually is people coming to drop stuff off and pick stuff up so um, yeah we might actually go with that okie dokie so what do we have going on here here's our small shelf and these are the things that they need uh okay now they're going to need metal so we're going to ask for metal to come over to here uh they are going to need um mechanical parts so we're going to ask for those to come over but they are actually also going to need their own set of gears as well uh, which is interesting so we might need to get uh, definitely get a, another uh, gear thing going on that's probably going to happen right so that shelf can then feed both of these and once they have done making their motors they can shove them back on here uh, yeah great it's pretty good it's pretty good 
Um, so, I think what would also be good uh, here is um, two of these guys as well. Uh, same, same sort of setup, um, except I want them to do the advanced, uh, medium rather, the medium. Okay, excellent. So back into logistics and we can see here what they need. So first of all, they're going to need these small motors. So we'll get those in. They are going to need metal. So we'll get those in. Uh, do you know what we might do? to make this a little bit easier is put a shelf here um, and this shelf is going to have metal delivered to it like this and I'm going to say hey let's up that metal right uh, and then this shelf instead of getting it from over there they are going to pull the metal from here and it's going to be a same deal with, with these guys get the metal from here like that yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, good. Uh, so what else is is required? Uh, the, the the gears, the gears, uh, the mechanical parts, in fact. Um, so do you know what we might? Let's see. What have you got? Yeah. I'm wondering if it's worth thing is is that this is getting this could then be quite a bit small we're gonna put a big shelf in here I'm gonna put gonna put a big one in a big one I'm gonna put a big one in and then we're going to ask for the metal to come into here right okay we're going to up that uh, we are going to ask uh, probably for plastic parts to come in but for now we are going to ask for these not to go to there but to go to here and we're also going to ask for gears uh, to come into here as well there we go so they've got like a, a a base of of operations here so um let's update this excellent and over here right I will get this in a minute. You'll all see. <laughs> uh, so this is coming from here, which I think I've already set up, hence uh, the noise. Um, and then we'll feed these into here. Excellent. And then we can ask them to ship out back to the shelf. Right, okay, okay. All right, all right. Good. Uh, another problem I dealt with. So that's the batteries completely taken care of for the end product. Um, which I'm really pleased about. Now we need to deal with the small compartments. Now it's the small compartment thing gets a bit out of control, doesn't it? I think maybe um, should we make the small compartments over here somewhere? I'm thinking maybe that we, we probably should. I might move... Um, let's see, I might move this completely out of the way. Um, and because we always seem to need quite a few of them, we, we're, we'll, we'll start, we'll start small. Um, and increase if we need to. And, uh, and with that, let's pop just, just that in there. Just that, probably not enough. Um, in fact... I'm actually just straight up going to put put two in now. Yeah. So even though they're a module, um, I think they're going to be best over here um, for the time being. And actually, I don't like this setup. Uh, look. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um... And we shall give them a shelf. Right. So they are going to need metal to be delivered. They are also going to need the rods and the screws. There we go. Uh, excellent. And 
uh, we can get these compartments to be shipped uh, back out to here as well. Okay, so that's the compartments being produced. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, so we've got the fuses already being produced um, and the the chassis I think we're also going to produce over here as well. Um, so the chassis, uh, let's see, can we build them on here? Uh, yeah, yeah we can. Um, let's stick just one of these in for now. Um, I mean, oh God, I owed for a welding table, right? Um, so slow. Maybe we will need to just, 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 just build two. Just, just build them. Damn it. Just build them. Right. So, what's required here? Uh, the usual stuff. So we've already got quite a bit of metal coming in into this shelf over here so what we might do we might actually up that metal a little bit more uh, so that it can feed uh, these and they can also pick the screws up themselves directly from that shelf and their uh, and their rods um, and then I might just get them to put their chassis uh, back into here like that I think that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do okay um, now that leaves the batteries um, to do uh, which is possibly going to happen over here. So let's let's see again. Right, um, let's see where we are. So if we, oh no, if I can get it wrong, I will, won't I? You notice that? Maybe chemistry. Yeah, we've just done a load um, on the other level. Right. So we we want the double. Yeah, the, we do. We want the double, which means we're going to need the single. Okay. And for that, we need a bunch of raw materials. So we are already getting plastic and chemicals and that over into here. So what we're going to do is ask for uh, plastic um and chemicals to come over to here um do you know what we might up the plastic and up the chemicals there we go excellent excellent um and then i think we will get uh two of these um like so there we go nice um, and, uh, we'll get, I think, two of these as well. Nice. Now, we are going to need some shelves. So, let's give them a shelf and give them a shelf. Okay. So, what do we need? On this shelf, please deliver metal plastic and chemicals and they will pop those out thusly excellent um, and then uh, we are going to need these to be shipped over to this shelving unit thanking you right and then over here Ooh, we're going to need the plastic parts to come in so now the plastic parts um ship them to here uh oh hang on though i i don't i don't want you to send them directly oh, it, it is come from the small shelf right okay <laughs> didn't want the lady making them to drag them over here every time um and then we can get those popped over to here along with some chemicals excellent um yeah so we can then ask for the final uh, batteries uh, to come out here as well okay nice um so no real need uh oops the daisies uh no real need at this point um for a conveyor belt i don't think uh, uh, until we get the final product i think i'm going to ship the final product away um 
yeah so for 10 a week we are going to start with uh, two uh, of these um, yeah uh, so let's get another assembly thing here um, I'd like you to produce the same thing now uh, yes yes let's have a think um, I might actually change this a little bit as I am having a think <laughs> and as I think things in my noggin occur um, because I'm thinking it'd be great if they could shove them on the conveyor belt themselves um, so conveyor belt sort of here uh, but they are also going to need um, shelving and being that we might up production yeah uh, they're gonna need quite a lot as well um, hmm. tricky tricky we might do I don't know if the, can they g get to the conveyor belt from the sides you know I'm not entirely sure let's give this a go okay um, so I know that I'm going to want them to no not do that at all not do that at all uh, right so into this shelving unit here we're gonna need all kinds of stuff aren't we uh, so here we're producing the batteries um, good -o. over here we're producing those motors right uh, so let's we're gonna tick these off so that I know that it's it's happening okay um, now the fuses the fuses once he is done with those fuses, I'd like him to ship them out to here. And then uh, I'm probably going to have somebody just walk them over to here. I really am going to make uh, quite the the lane over here. Um, so. And then they can come onto this shelf. And then they go out to there. Okay. Now the chassis. And the cases. Okay, I'm going to need to come over here. Uh, and the chassis, yeah, I need to come over to here. And then they are shipped over to here. That's mental. I've really, I've, I've, I've continued to keep the legwork. <laughs> Continue to keep the legwork. Um, it is what it is. Uh, we can always uh, change that. And I've got a, a nice idea in my mind of how we can uh, upgrade this uh, just to make it uh, run smoother and faster. Uh, for goodness sake. Uh, there we go. Right. Now. What we need to do now is to produce um, the conveyor belt uh, to... What? 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 Oh, you're not picking up your goods from here. Uh, okay. Well, I'll just have you do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, next job is to get a conveyor belt. Um to return these items back to the outgoing zone. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.